Hey everyone, today we have a Kane encounter game. So Kane shows up at the start of the game, replacing the portals, and says that the game ends at 5-4. It's a really extreme encounter, I don't know if I like it, but at least Kane gives you a heads up. So for this game, forget about going 9 and playing a bunch of 5 costs. You just want to play a tempo. So what I'm talking about is slamming items immediately and capping your board around level 8. I already have two Kindreds and an R. Feels like a pretty good Dryad spot. Dryad is kind of a weird trait, because Kindred is one of its carries, but it doesn't really benefit from Dryad. It gives such a minimal amount of AP, and the stacks only give HP, which she just doesn't care about at all. I went ahead and slammed Gargoyle on tier, because I think you should just make as many passable items with this encounter. So the current plan is to reroll Kindred and Nar with 4 Dryad. This is a problem. If they're playing Reapers, they might reroll Kindred as well. Instead of pre-leveling, I should have sold to 9 gold and waited to see the results of the next fight. I have too many upgrades and they don't have trickshot for Bard. Tier makes blue buff. I should have played 2 Bruiser over 2 Reaper here. 2 Reaper is worth this early game because crit chance and abilities can crit, it's not good with 1 item Kindred. I think that's the Garen Hero Augment. Don't know what it does, but I'm sure it's good early game. I will gladly take Nar too. Nar should be unkillable this fight. Kindred probably always wants Guardbreaker. I don't know if JJ's worth it for the guaranteed crit. It could just be Hodge. Death Gap also sounds very good. I didn't streak last stage, so my econ isn't the greatest. Kindred 1 with no damage items is so bad. I don't know if I'm killing anything. I'm down to try out 4 Reaper to see if the bleed is worth it at all. A reason to not take the Reaper emblem now is I can't even activate the trait yet. What does my team look like with extra Reapers? I guess like this. Looks like I'm winning the fight. I haven't seen people make ghost work. I feel like I never even use this encounter when it pops up. Also, selling this Ash was dumb.
I have to imagine that their bard out DPSs my kindred. Give me that guard breaker. Four Dryad plus an actual damage item in Kindred. My board looks a lot better now. Horn's a pretty cool unit. His ability gives units temporary items. I feel like Alun's just kind of bad. Her spell divides its damage to all units in a row, so it just tickles. Looks like the Reaper guy's playing Kindred, so I don't want to roll in 6 this game. Let's see if the Garen's fallen off yet. I want a damage item for Kindred, maybe a healing item for Nar, and I also need Shred and Anti-Heal. I'm gonna go to 7 and then roll for 4 Reaper. Okay, maybe I am going for Kindred 3. Warden and Behemoth don't give team-wide buffs, so this Yorick only gives some armor to my 1-star Orn. Let's see if 4 Reaper actually does anything. Not bad. Maybe 20% of Kindred's damage? I'm not taking Dryad Crest because I can't get 6 without high rolling Azir, a 5 cost. And I'll say it again, Dryad only scales HP, which doesn't help Kindred. Normally, Heroic Grab Bag is just a top 4 augment unless something's busted, like Riven from set 10. But in this case, the game's going to end before I fall off, so I'll take the free Kindred 3. I better win this fight. My whole strategy is to be strong for this stage specifically. Alright, that was a little too close. Forget Econ, I'm leveling for the Salawi too. I bullied them off Kindred, and they're playing Shojin Silas? Well, 4 gold's more than 3 gold. I guess I just start building cane items now. They don't have a Silas, so right now their second augment isn't doing anything. This encounter should probably give a remover. A lot of the time you already have a 3 item carry and a tank. Bruiser is better than Behemoth because Bruiser is a team wide buff. Morgana is a fantastic dual carry but doesn't do enough damage on her own.
At this point, I just want cane items. Technically, I could go 9 next turn, but then I have no gold to roll. It's just better to roll in the 8 for upgrades and be as strong as possible now. Garen fell off two stages ago. This encounter is kind of troll. Watch this get someone a 2 star 5 cost. Nar 3 should be stronger than Kane 2. No need to econ, just roll to 0 every turn. Nico's so damn tanky, she just lives forever. This is the last fight of the game. I'm only 4 HP ahead of second. They look pretty strong. This game might come down to matchmaking RNG. I'm not fighting second place. This game is 0 damage items, and blue buff is an awful item on his ear. That's GG. I think in a normal game, my board bleeds out into a fourth, but it was just strong enough to get to Kane. Thanks for watching.